So then when I think about radio surgical platforms and you try to say the most common question that I get is what's better, gamma knife? or CyberKnife, right? They're both outstanding technologies, very good platforms. The way that I think about GammaKnife and the reason why I lobbied Valley Hospital, my hospital, to put a GammaKnife in so that neurosurgically we could do the open things and then if I needed radiation surgery, I really wanted a GammaKnife is because GammaKnife's actually been around the longest of all these dedicated brain platforms. It was created in 1968, so we have a lot of data. I can share a lot of information from across the globe of Gamma Knife Centers because the Lexel um, and Excel, the company Lars Lexel, they've been collecting data on their patients since 1960s, 1970s. So we have a lot of data to say how safe Gamma Knife might be. We have a lot of data to say what the side effects might be, what our control rates might be for things. So I like that aspect. I can share some information with patients that's robust. Um, gamma knife doesn't have a lot of moving rotating parts. I like that. It just means there's fewer things to break down. Um, and it, the, the really nice thing for a doctor is that gamma knife really only can do procedures from the top of the neck up. It really can't drop below that. Um, so it's really, really good at brain stuff. Um, but it can't be converted to treat a prostate or a breast or a lung. So, the analogy that I use is my Hugh Jackman analogy. So I love Hugh Jackman, I think he's great, right? He's a really good dancer, he's a really good singer, he's a really good actor. But if you go into each one of those things, there's probably somebody better at each one of those specific things that you know Hugh Jackman's not the best of the best. So for me, Gamma Knife, because it's dedicated to the brain, it's extraordinarily good at brain things, but it can't do anything else that well. Whereas any machine that can be converted to treat another organ system, although versatile, probably isn't the best in class, although very, very good. Um, and, and most importantly, I know that Gamma Knife works. In my experience, it's got some very, very good outcomes. So that's how I think about sort of the Gamma Knife versus something else platform. And that's just my opinion. It's very hard to prove. When you talk about outcomes for uh, vestibular schwannomas and acoustic neuromas, the growth control rate, meaning is this going to continue to grow on me after gamma knife is very, very good. Greater than 90% greater than chance that we can stop growth for lesions that are medium to small. So 2.2 centimeters or less is a very good growth control rate. I mentioned earlier, your facial nerve, your ability to smile and close your eye with gamma knife, the preservation of that nerve is extremely good. There's really not a risk to other functions in your body, right? Because the gamma knife is so focused, you know, damaging something else or causing some memory problems or other things like that are very, very rare. Um, and then hearing, obviously, hearing preservation has a lot to do with how a patient comes in. If they come in with not so good hearing, it's very hard to save hearing. If the patient comes in with very good hearing, it's a little bit easier to save hearing. So hearing remains one of those tricky things for us. Gamma knife can fail. And if gamma knife fails, there is good evidence that you can retreat with gamma knife. We do worry about hearing with a second gamma knife treatment. And you obviously can operate. Uh, there's debate in the field as to whether or not gamma knife makes future surgery should it be necessary harder because it's stickier. I personally have not seen that. But I know some very good surgeons who say that once you radiate something, it becomes harder if it needs surgery. I have not personally seen that happen, but I'm sure there's some very good surgeons who have. So that's, that's sort of a debate that the jury's out on, but surgery can certainly be done after gamma knife. 